Yo, what is going on, everyone? Welcome back to the Zen Lounge. In this video, I'm going to be going deep into Corium Signature Technology Smart Tokens. I've never heard anyone mention the term smart tokens before Corium team I came out with this technical paper. They're saying it's the next generation of blockchain-based assets supercharged with smart contracts. What's unique is you could actually uh, program at the contract at the chain level uh, compliance into smart tokens. Now, today, my buddy Niles in the Discord chat shared probably one of the most bullish pieces of content I have yet to see. Uh, Nadine from the DCC talks about smart tokens at the tokenization hearing today. What tokenization hearing am I talking about? One moment. Let me pull it up for you. So today, June 5th, Wednesday, there was a hearing. Uh, it says next generation infrastructure, how tokenization of real world assets will, let's continue, will facilitate efficient markets. And she mentions uh, smart tokens at about the hour and 14 minute mark. So if you want to see the full context, uh, you know, start at an hour and 14 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and play this clip for you guys, and I'll see you on the other side does require um, building an infrastructure that is interoperable, uh, which will allow these tokens uh, to move on different, um, on different networks. Um, and it, it does require uh, that it starts with compliance as the underlying principle and build up from there. So we do believe it will become a network of blockchains. It's not one blockchain that will rule them all. Um, there is technology today that allows us to incorporate uh, compliance and rules and make a token a smart token. Uh, that allows us to actually ensure that a lot of the uh, compliance AML KYC So she mentions basically Corium's technology, in my opinion, exactly. Even labeling it a smart token, which I've only heard the Corium team ever label. Uh, I believe they came up with the term smart token. This is speculation. We're going deep down the rabbit hole. We're uncovering information. Uh, for the first time, do you think they're talking about Corium Smart Token or is this a giant reach? One important thing I want to show you is there is connections with the Sologenic team and the DTCC. As Niles found that clip from watching the full hour long hearing, this is the whole hour and 50 minutes, next generation infrastructure uh, talk the GOP financial services official account uploaded it. Um, Ken Clax points out, if you guys don't remember, if you haven't been with Sologenic for a long time, Sologenic had Otto Nino on the team. So you can see actually on his LinkedIn that Otto Nino was on the Sologenic team and was in charge of compliance, making sure that Solo was compliant. And he pops up and he's actually at the DTCC. Well, he's actually at the DCCC working for digital assets. You know, some people say he's the inside man. And uh, it's just another connection of how the DTCC possibly could have learned about this technology. Because we know that they're doing everything to, you know, be a compliant chain for enterprises. They just released uh, identity solution with soulbound tokens. This is some news that just came out today as well. So Corium is advancing digital identity with smart and soulbound tokens. You know, that's really important for uh, regulators to be compliant. And they've developed decentralized identifiers and verifiable credentials um, for Corium. If you guys want to read more about that, more about this, you know, the links will be in the description below. You can get deeper into this. One more thing, there is some Pulsera news. So there's going to be some Pulsera news coming. They posted this like, Little hint, a lot of people are speculating that uh, this is going to be liquid staking coming to the Pulsera blockchain, which will be pretty cool. You see a lot of people are kind of uh, hinting about what's going to be happening with Pulsera. And people are thinking it's liquid staking. I don't have no idea. What do you think this announcement is going to be about? You guys let me know your thoughts. So that's all I got for you guys today. Shout out to Niles for uh, sharing this clip with me. It's going viral right now. It's about 4,500 views on uh, Twitter. I wanted to make a YouTube to kind of explain more. Uh, let me know your thoughts on Nadine. Do you think she's talking about the Corium smart token technology? Because it does sound very 
uh, similar because also Corium smart tokens have IBC. She was mentioning how basically these tokens need to be able to interact with all different networks. IBC allows smart tokens to do that and be compliant. Even if they want to have ISO 20022, there's a simulator. You could actually have ISO 20022 programmed at the chain level, programmed into the smart contract itself. So the ISO 20022 messaging actually is on chain. And, uh, you know, I think they're doing uh, everything that they talked about in this video. So that's really excited. I'll see you guys next video. Shout out to everybody staking with the uh, Aquarium Zen Lounge Validator. And I'm going to be having some exciting things coming up, including Christmas in July. We're doing round two, the second annual Christmas in July, coming up next month. So, you know, we're doing big things. And I'll see you guys next video. Peace.